It's uh, great to be here and inform you about our call for interest for AI Gigafactories because I can tell that it was a great success. So we are very thrilled by the overwhelming response to the call of expression of interest on AI Gigafactories. Uh, we got... Uh, 76 submissions proposing to set up AI gigafactories in 16 member states and across 60 different sites. And this exceeds uh, far be beyond our expectations and showcases Europe's growing momentum and enthusiasm for innovating in AI in Europe. Our initial goal was to help to establish four or five new AI gigafactories, so this is a very positive sign of interest. 76 submissions in 16 member states and across 60 different sites. Although these are not, of course, these are not formal applications, but they will play a substantial role in helping the EU, European Commission and also member states now to identify and also create a dynamic non-binding roster of potential candidates ready to establish world-class AI gigafactory facilities across European Union. And uh, this is also a very powerful signal, pro proving also that the ambition to build a sovereign world-class AI infrastructure resonates deeply across our European Union and also beyond. Europe's industry, investors and public sector are ready to build aligning with the bold vision and ambitious goals set in the AI Continent Action Plan. These AI gigafactories, they will be a game changers, integrating cutting-edge computing power, energy-efficient data centers, and AI-driven competitiveness. They create an ecosystem and gather resources, capabilities, and funding allowing European industry the means to compete globally. These facilities are crucial for developing training and deploying next-generation AI models at scale, potentially involving trillions of parameters. You remember when President von der Leyen launched this uh, Invest AI initiative in Paris in AI Summit beginning of the year, the objective was to mobilize more than 200 billion euro for investments in AI with 20 billion euro for AI infrastructure. These proposals we have received are not just numerous, they are immense in scale. Collectively, these respondents, they have expressed their intention to invest for an indicative total amount of more than 230 billion euros in AI gigafactories over the next three to five years. Of course, these 230 billion euros, it does not mean that all these uh, Intentions uh, will materialize uh, for investments, but of course this is very positive news that we have so much interest to invest to Europe. And it seems that Europe is a place for AI investments and competitiveness also. So together they have now indicated plans to acquire at least also 3 million of the latest generation AI processors in total. So. 3 million of the latest generation AI processors also in total. And this demonstrates uh, confidence in Europe's leadership in AI and also that we have a real opportunity to position Europe as a global powerhouse in AI. The respondents form a very diverse group, including our major European companies, uh, companies in data centers, telecoms and also power suppliers. Uh, they include both European global technology partners and also financial investors, demonstrating that Europe is an attractive place for invest. The proposals they submitted also confirm that our suggested public-private partnership model is appropriate to mobilize the necessary capital and also expertise. So, Establishing Europe's first AI gigafactories will demand significant investments and also coordinated policy action. They will serve as a flagship project for the competitiveness coordination tool, pro providing tangible benefits for EU competitiveness on the global stage. So this call, uh, this was just a starting point. Now the real work begins. My services will soon enter in bilateral discussions with all respondents and also the concerned member states to prepare the next steps for the AI Gigafactory initiative. 
The Commission plans to launch an official call for establishing AI gigafactories in the EU in the end of 2025 under the Euro HPC joint undertaking. So the message from across Europe is very clear and also united. The moment to shape our AI future is now. The interest is real, the ambition is very strong, and the investment is within reach. So we must now act very decisively to turn this momentum into lasting leadership. We will now harness this momentum to make our vision of AI continent a reality. So thank you very much for your attention, and uh, now I'm ready to also take your questions.